It is so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the cold. Hello, everyone. Yeah, Welcome only Josh and I are wearing hoodies. So. Right? Well, that's... Okay, <laughs> I, admittedly, that's part of my problem is I, I love t-shirts and shorts. I hate when I have to wear pants. Pants are the devil. And this time of year, I have to wear pants. And this time of year, to go outside, I have to wear, like, jackets and shit. And I don't like jackets. I don't... No. Like... <laughs> I moved to tech. I, I lived in the cold for a half my life. I don't want it anymore. I'm done with the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with it. Yep. But anyway, yeah, it's it's already cold here. It's uh, well, relatively speaking, I understand that like half the country is in the like serious negative digits. Um, yeah, last Hughes, looked, Hughes got it nice there. Negative thirty-one. One degrees below zero. Mm, minus eleven. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It is. Uh, last time I looked at the thermometer, it was 16 here, and with the wind chill, it's probably pretty close to zero, which yeah. is pretty cold for Texas, admittedly. So yeah, it's already cold enough that my stupid um, one of my spigots on the outside of the house already froze, and I had it thawed out so it didn't burst because I didn't need that shit happening. So yeah. I got all my all my exterior pipes are dripping so that they won't burst, hopefully. But uh, it's, Texas. it's weird. Well, it's weird because like you learn your house, right? So the old house in 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 the old neighborhood, we knew it was so well. We knew exactly which faucets we had to drip, which ones we didn't have to, you know, what we need to do. Like if it got down to this temperature or this temperature or this temperature, you know, in this house, I'm like, all right, we gotta learn it all. So I don't know how to do what, uh, okay. But um, so I am saying that normally I don't wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is hey now. The no pants club. Hey now. Yeah. <laughs> where, where is it 54 degrees Fahrenheit? I don't think Dan knows that reference, Tyler. No, I don't, clearly he doesn't. <laughs> Wait, what was it? I missed it, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh damn it you're not gonna tell me no right. i'm not fine <laughs> the audience doesn't seem to either so it's yeah, okay <sighs> anyway it's a special club yep. a special club. i'm probably definitely not a part of the special club <laughs> so by the way um i was talking to josh not that josh but josh the mechanic josh that everyone loves to hate um what would y'all say if we did a monthly series with Josh where we called it, it's that time of the month. And, <laughs> oh, no. oh no. And he did like a little talk about like tech talk and bitching about stuff. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that and then follow it up with a live with Josh in the live. Cause people actually like really enjoyed asking him questions. So I don't know. That's a thought. What do you think? So that, that would be good. Yeah. I like the comments here. <laughs> it is that time of month. I mean, the whole point is like, he's so bitchy, you know, like complains about everything. It'd be like, you know, it's like, yeah, it's that time of month. He's going to bitch about stuff. So uh, some people don't like him, but you know, like here's the funny thing. He, he says a lot of stuff that people get, but heard about but he's actually kind of a softy deep down <laughs> don't ever tell him i said that i hope he does not watch this because he'll yeah. be like Rubber! but he is <laughs> anyway um yes so it is the holidays uh happy holidays everyone whatever you may or may not celebrate i'm not yeah. going to get into that battle yep um yeah it's it's like pretty calm here. Uh, poor Josh has COVID. Yeah, I just violated so a HIPAA. Sorry, I'm not, I will, probably won't do a lot of talking, but I'm just, I'll be here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> not feeling a hundred percent. How how is it going today? Uh, worse than yesterday. Really? Oh That's no! Like, you're like day five. I was really, it's really up and down. Like I'll feel really terrible, <laughs> and then I'll feel good for a while, and then I'll start feeling bad again. Oh and, man. Yeah, it's you like can... you no. Know, the worst part about it is just no energy. 
like yeah. just so yeah. tired and like I don't even, I can't even sit in front of my computer and focus on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> it sucks. Jeez, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> well, he said the, <laughs> the latest round of it. I've had it too. Oh, yeah, no. second second time, great. Yeah, I, Josh was feeling crappy earlier in the week, and he's like, "Oh, well, like we could film a video and stuff." I'm like, "Nah, I'll just avoid you." <laughs> and then, like the next day, the good the thing day, you did. Like, I'm COVID positive. I'm like, "Thank God." Yep. I don't need that shit in my life right now. No. <laughs> I have lost my uh, smell and taste. Like I would say, like fifty percent. Hmm. Really? It's weird. Oh, it's weird. Man. It didn't happen to me the first time I had it, but this time it did. Crazy. You good, kind then. of weird. Yeah, you got a good load. <laughs> what are what are what you did? I don't know. It's probably one of the kids brought it home from school. I'm sure. Mm. Oh yeah. By the way, if you haven't seen the latest Hoovies video, he did uh give us yep. a shout out like 15, 16 minutes in. Oh, did he? Was, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Which, I actually what was the video about? Uh they were comparing the four five eight to the C six Z06. Oh, C8. okay. Or C8, sorry, C8. C8. They did base the Z- C8 off of the 458. Yeah, yeah. It's based right. off the 458 platform. So that was cool. Um, and I, I sent him a text thanking him, and he was like, oh, no problem. So that was cool. Nice. Um, it was cool to see, like, not to hype his video, but it was cool to see the two cars right next to another and how much they actually copied. <laughs> oh, no, it's like, it's a it's a facsimile. I mean, yeah. seriously. Like, I'm going to say, like, 90% of the car is just 458. Yeah. Which is actually pretty amazing. Like when you think about it, the 458 is such a good platform. Ferrari's used it for three generations of cars. They've used it for over 15 years now. So for for Chevy to replicate that, I mean, good on them, right? Like that's the right car to copy. Um and I think it's, it's kind, kind of, of funny and I guess it it shouldn't be because the car costs, you know, a third of what the 458 costs, but they u- did use a 10-year-old platform when they started making it. Yeah. Yep. You know. <laughs> but, you know, hilariously, Ferrari still uses that platform. Hmm. The this, the yeah. F8 is a 458 platform. Yeah. Yeah. It's just different drivetrain and modified suspension. I'm sure they've and- made it slightly better over the years but yeah yeah yeah. it's improved but it's the basic same thing so i mean i have to say the c6 or c god i keep saying c6 c8 z06 is an interesting car to me because it it, it's like it is a cheap 458 Mm -hmm. with a warranty yeah still a corvette though yep and that's that's like so here's the problem I have. I saw that that one uh, Chevy dealership listed one for like three hundred thousand dollars. Oh my god! Another one listed for like three hundred seventy five thousand dollars, and I'm like, that's just dumb. Like, yeah, you can you can literally buy an F8 for that much money. Yeah. Why would why on earth would you buy a Corvette when you can buy? an f8 for the same price that's just the dumbest shit i've ever heard in my life yep i completely agree with that yeah i don't know and you sit you sit in a ferrari yeah especially if you haven't sat in one before and you grab the steering wheel and you're looking at the cavalino you're like you it feels like something special right yeah you get in a corvette and nobody is thinking wow this is something special nobody is thinking (laughs) give it give it five years those c8 z06s are going to be worth shit Mm, that's debatable. Well, they're not going to be worth. Well, the thing is, though, is I think the next, the next car that they come out with is probably going to be a hybrid or electric, and so that may yeah. be the last gas. That's true. That's, yeah. true. that's true. That's true. Mid point. engine. I feel like that could be a collectible car over time. Who they knows? Be, but they're they gonna, might make really, way too many of them. They're going to make a hundred thousand of them. Yeah, like it, it's not like it's going to be hard to get one in a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right now, you can't get them. Wait a couple of years. Well, it's just every, like, it's just... every time they've come out with a new body style Corvette, going all the way back to the C5, it, there's a bunch of hype about it. The hype starts to die down. They come out with the Z06. The hype goes back up, dies down. Then they have a new body style. It's like the cycle of Corvettes. That's right. That's what happens. And then they'll yep. throw a ZR1 in there randomly. Yep. When they feel yep. like it. Exactly. I. So the ZR1 C8 
might be pretty badass. If but they if it's a hybrid, <laughs> I think it's not. Like it oh, won't... Yeah, if it's a hybrid, no. True. Yeah. If if they took the Z06 platform and just really like did it up, I think they would have something that would, that would hold the testament of time. But if yeah. they hybrid it, I think that's gonna hurt the value. Yeah. Like there's a ton of speculation. It's gonna be all the drive and some other shit. This so. dude, I don't think so. Oh, I don't what think are you so. talking about? <laughs> your, there was your... already reports that I read about C8 dashes leather peeling and that no, car is only oh, no. out for a couple of years yeah there is big there's not even a question that fry is a better interior. even even the three lt corvette with all the nice shit it still has plastics and still yeah. is not yeah no yeah. sorry man e- even the quality of leather like you sit in a, f- yeah. a ferrari that's even five years old and it still smells like this high quality leather yeah. and you sit in a yeah. corvette a and 20 it year old like... ferrari that's clean well, you can smell get in and smell yeah. the leather <laughs> And, and, no one, and don't forget, like the cockpit of the Corvette is like obnoxious. Yeah, it kind of is. It's like it's like they vomited buttons everywhere, and they're just <laughs> like they're just like the, the, I don't the, think the dash in the interior of a Ferrari is just clean and beautiful, and the C8 not. interior is not going to age well. I don't think. Yeah, I could be wrong on that, but I just don't see it aging well. No. Yeah. No. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I want one. I don't want one more than I want a Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like no. to answer Jason's questions, would I buy one at sure under sticker? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. If I could get it at or below a sticker. Yes. Yeah. For sticker, it's a hell of a, a car. car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm but, not paying 200,000. I'm not paying anything over 150 for a C8 Z06. Yeah. At this point. If I'm paying Ferrari prices, I'm gonna buy a Ferrari. I wouldn't. Exactly. I wouldn't pay 150. I'll get a high mile four five eight yeah. <laughs> before I do yeah, that. That's the problem, right? That's the problem. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's a cool car. I I I will say this: even as a Ferrari fan, I'm super happy to see Corvette do that because I think it it shows the market. Hey, there is still a super super strong demand for naturally aspirated, you know, large displacement sports cars that aren't crazy with all this crazy shit. Yeah. So like, it, it's really cool. Like I, it's, I hate to say this, but in a weird way, and I'm going to get flack for this shit, but <laughs> I feel like the C8 Z06 is almost more Ferrari than any current Ferrari. Like, the Ferraris of 10 years ago are, that was peak Ferrari. 458 to me is and will always be peak Ferrari. It's it's come downhill since, right? Everything they've made since then is not as good. And Cor- the Corvette is really close to being as awesome as a 458. Yep. But it's still rather to take a 458, just, just saying, you know. I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, this, it's not. It's not that we're trying to sell Ferraris. It's I've driven them all. That's the thing is, I have driven so many different cars now, and I'm basing my opinion on that experience. Uh, like I, I can like, and that's why my that's why my opinion has evolved. Like I. For a long time, absolutely despised McLarens because of the rumors on the internet about bad maintenance and whatever. But then we finally, we bought some and I got to live with them for a little while and we got to work on them. And actually that was really what changed my mind about the McLaren was Mm -hmm. when we got to start working on them and you start really looking at the design of them, you look at the engineering, you see these are really well engineered cars. They're very easy to work on. Yeah, the computers are a little bit okay. It's a British but car. It's a British car. But I mean, they're impressive. Yeah. And they're fun. So you start to appreciate all the different things that are out there the more you try, right? So I can tell you right now, like, yeah, you might not agree with my opinion or whatever, but and I'm not saying this to be like facetious or an asshole or whatever, but I can almost guarantee you I've driven more cars than every single person in this chat, at least with like six figure plus cars. Right. And you start to really see and feel the differences when you try them all. And it's just, it's just something that you can't get 
when you're like, oh, I'm going to go try. This is my first time driving a Ferrari, my first time driving a Corvette, my first time whatever. It's, it's just you got to experience a bunch of them to, to really feel it and, and, and appreciate it and and see how they've evolved over the, all the years. It's, it's kind of fascinating. So mm-hmm. anyway, that's that's just I don't know. I mean, and again, I think the Corvette's amazing. The, the Z06 is an absolutely astounding car. Like it's badass. It's really, really awesome. But people be texting me. <laughs> Stop <Nope>. texting. <laughs> if it's it. not Scottish, it's crap. It's true. It's very true. It is true. Wait, I didn't swear you don't get the drink. <laughs> we'll just drink anyway. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's it's the holidays. We're just gonna drink. Okay. Oh man! Speaking of uh, working on McLarens, I'll be right back. <laughs> what are you doing? You got a McLaren problem right now? This car is probably fire. going off. I would say his alarm is something electrical just broke. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of electrical issues in the McLarens, we did actually have oh oh oh, oh that makes me very happy. Mm. That can't is get these on hold oh shit okay you just you just won yeah. today so that showed up yesterday so oh, that was nice, nice. i didn't beautiful. open the i didn't open the down pipes because screw that but wow yeah. it's amazing how light in canal is right so when are we doing that <laughs> soon that's a good question <laughs> when do you get back from the holidays <clears throat> next week okay so first week of january let's do it sure okay i'm in <laughs> is that a thigh master yeah it, it kind of looks like it right <laughs> dude that is badass oh that looks so good yeah it i mean the the tips are a little more square than the oh wow factory i hope those stick out just a touch just a, yeah i hope so just a touch not too much adjust it to get it just right yeah. that's awesome yeah it's, it's a beautiful single piece like and that's it. That comes up from the downpipes, and that's the exhaust. <laughs> oh, I know, right? That's all you get. That's, that's all you need. I can't wait for it to shoot flames. It's going to be oh, awesome. dude. Oh it's my totally god, flames. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. That is the prettiest Christmas ornament I've yeah, ever seen. No kidding. You just got your Merry Christmas <laughs> present from us, man. That's You're right. welcome. You're yeah. welcome, Tyler. Yeah, I'll take it. it. That is ooh. That is glorious. Oh man, I'm. Tips are not oh, here, pink. Here, here you go, Dan. <laughs> I actually was about to click on that one. Yep. I was trying to think, what is a car I haven't driven? My, one of mine would, I would love to drive a Carrera GT. Oh, yeah. I, haven't I, driven I want to try, yeah, the CGT, so that yeah. just seems interesting. Um, a, a F50, I would love to see that. Now I've tried an F40. I want to see if the F50 is mm. as be good totally or bad. Different. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I want to try this the C C eight Z06. Honestly, I I'm really wanting mm-hmm. to try that because I'm curious to see, like the four five eight is my bread and butter. Like I love the four five eight. Will I love the C eight Z06? Um, I hope so. Oh, and you're welcome. Uh, oh, what do you so for any of you that were here? Uh, what do you think of the vlog? Are you cool with that you want me to do more of that you want me to do less of that am i a dumbass i I love to hear your opinions um so yeah i'm curious yeah (laughs) was it the gopro mic because you definitely sounded different than yeah the regular the first one i just did the gopro mic um gotcha no i don't have it here anyway um so the next one I filmed, I started filming uh, more vlog today and I used, uh, I ordered a better mic, which by the way, did you order the GoPro setup yet, Josh? I haven't yet. No. Okay. When you do, we'll have to get you one of the little mics that I bought and see how it, how it comes out. Cause the whole problem is like for vlogging, you really can't control the audio as well yeah. because you're moving around, you're multiple people talking you know it's it's not controlled like a uh, uh, intentional video right it's kind of just shit happening right like okay like i had no idea what we we're gonna film i'm just like okay i'm i'm editing videos and i'm gonna f- start filming and then 
Um, and then Meg's like, hey, this is what I'm making for dinner. So I'm like, okay, I'll fill that. You know, I'm like, whatever. Um, I will say this. Uh, I do. I, you guys will have to understand. Meg and I have a weird mental thing about we don't want to show our son in much content. Yeah. Like, I, I don't feel it's right. Like, you know, he's too young to make any decisions. So, like, blasting him out on social media at this age i feel like is like inappropriate so what we've kind of said is if he's incidentally in videos that's okay but we're not going to like feature him or intentionally show him you know like that's That's smart yeah i just i I don't know it it feels weird like you know he's like anyway i I hope you guys get it like so it just you know but yeah so the thought is for basically like i actually would want to do two separate vlogs if you guys are cool with it the the dan vlog which will also feature obviously a lot of megan um because i'll be filming from home and megan's here and then we want to have some josh vlogging (laughs) i'll give it a try i'll give it a try yeah (laughs) Yeah. so you know we'll we'll do some is josh going to edit them though like huh are you going to edit I mean, everyone's vlogs or is, jo- no, is it going to be I'll, Josh's I'll vlog? Okay. I'll edit the vlog. But the, the cool thing about vlogs from an editing perspective is you really don't have to do much editing. True. Like, because there's, you know, it's just kind of raw daily life exposed, right? So, you, you know, it's just, you don't yeah. have to do a whole lot. Can That's you write funny. off the whole house for that? That's a, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're brilliant. I did not think about that, but holy shit. Yeah, your business use went from 15% to 75%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can write off my whole mortgage. This is brilliant. No, uh, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> hey, I am not angry. I'm not angry. God. You said something about seeing you yell at the gardeners and the pool guy. I was like, if you want to watch Dan yell at himself, you're at the live. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I am the gardener. In the <laughs> right. Oh man. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. So, you should. I, I actually. Uh, oh, Meg sent me the chicken recipe. I need to post it on that video. She's there like, you go. <laughs> like, why didn't you post the recipe? I'm like, why don't they have the recipe? And she's like, well, I'll send it to you. You won't so. see any fancy food being cooked at my house. I, I'm not that's a cook, and neither is fancy? Allison. That looked fancy to me. You had your carrots all lined up and shit. I can't do that. I ain't doing that. There was carrots in a skillet with a chicken yeah. on top. Yeah, but they were all lined up all perfect. That's well, that's that's just Megan's OCD. Like you could just dump carrots in there, right? You know. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> the carrots make the dish. You gotta have the carrots, man. And like all the chicken juices fall down in the carrots, so the carrots get all. Yeah, mm, it's good. Yeah, which would you rather get a chance mm. to drive a P one or a LaFerrari? Ooh, I want both. Yeah, both. But why not both? That's a hard. I, like, I would probably do the LaFerrari because I feel like the P one is going to be too much like a seven twenty or whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the P one LaFerrari is kind of unique. Yeah. I agree. And and honestly, the LaFerrari is a mid-engine V12. Like, how often do you get to drive a mid-engine yeah. V12? Yep. Pretty much never. So definitely would try, try and take that. I would subscribe to the Angry Dan Long John. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. What, what's the Dan Long John? Is that I hope donut? you're drinking Lotus. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I think he's drunk <laughs> as shit. All right, Lotus. <laughs> you need to slow down. Oh lordy! Fancy brining the chicken. (laughs) Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. We could brine the chicken. Mm. I mean, like I, I like, I like good food. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. I do too. I'm just not a cook. (laughs) So I. I That's that's the other half of the tour of Colorado is the good food. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It is. We ate some. That's the best part. (laughs) Yeah, we ate some good shit on the tour. Yeah, we did. Oh my god. That's you realize like half the budget is just food. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two hundred dollar ribeye upgrade? Yes, please. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> that reminds me, we got a 
really start locking in shit for the next tour yeah. because I we're only one person short of mm. our requirement. I think we can find another person. Yeah. So I think it's going to happen. Are you going to come next year, Tyler? I got to figure out what the price increase. Oh, okay. Uh, that, yes. That's going to be the, the hard part. But. It, we'll find I, a few more it, people. The more we get, the cheaper we can make it, I think. True. Well, it's kind of like a tiered thing. We need it. Like, so actually, um, <laughs> It might be slightly cheaper than I thought because I believe we can get one more spot with our current expectations. Mm. And which would, you know, if you take like that much money and distribute it across all the reservations, that would decrease their cost by like five hundred to seven hundred dollars or so. So almost a thousand dollars cheaper. Um, so I need to redo the math, but uh, it is it is going to be more expensive. I mean, here's the problem: is like. I have to compute in what we don't know. Like the, the inflation this year kicked our ass. Like we thought, oh, like when I first planned the tour, we're like, oh man, with, with Jocko's infusion, we're going to actually make some money. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're like, I hope we make some money. <laughs> yeah. It was, so it was, it was like, okay, we, we made a tiny bit of money this year, which, hey, okay. First time making a little bit of money. All right. That's not bad. One out of three. Um, but I, God knows what's going to happen next year for the cost, right? Like it just, yeah. it's always more expensive than you think. Always. There's always additional expenses or whatever. So you just, you don't know, but uh, yeah. So whew, yeah, man, I just spent $450 on prime rib and shrimp for Christmas day dinner. That sounds amazing. Yeah. I'm going to your house. Yeah. Whatever that was, I'm sure that was absolutely worth it. The prime rib is like 38 bucks a pound. Mm -hmm. Dude, I just that bought, so I, went, I, went, I was going to the grocery store this morning um, to pick up a few things that we needed before the, the winter storm hit. And they had a full, like it was like a half of a uncut tenderloin mm. on sale for only $15 a pound. Oh, oh wow. I know. I was like, yes. Did you I buy am. it? <laughs> yeah, of course I bought it. Good. I was like, oh my God, yes, I'm buying that and I'm going to make Bernays sauce. My God. So I was like, that will be our Christmas Eve dinner because that will be just nice. Meg and I and we'll have leftovers because hell yeah. And, but yeah, I was like, what? Like it was normally like 75 plus dollars and I got it for like $60. Nice. For a, for a full, I mean, I'm going to trim it down and make it a Chateaubriand and Ooh. Yeah. Make... Yeah. Anyway, dude, are you? Here's you're a... gonna be gone. I know. Damn it. Here's are you a good be question. Town? Me? What? Yeah, you. Yeah, I'll be here. We should. We should do like a Christmas Eve thing. Yeah. Uh, we. I got. Well, it depends on if I test negative or not. But yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. You're not coming to, over if you don't test negative. We're going to Allison's parents for Christmas Eve dinner. But uh, Christmas okay. Day, we're having some people here, so you guys could come over if you want. Oh, we we got family coming for Christmas. Oh, do you? Meg's Meg's family's coming. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Franklin's or Terry Blacks? That's like uh, Franklin's. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Terry Blacks because it's easier to get. It is easier. And it's, but... it's, yeah. it's it's. I think it's just as good. It's they're both no, good. No, I still I haven't I can't do the tiebreaker because I haven't had Franklin's yet. No, you, okay. Oh. Get you order Franklin's ahead of time. I'll tell you what. Here's what you need to do. You okay. can order Franklin's so so long as you order, I think, at least four pounds of meat. Not a problem if you got a group. Yeah. So let's just do that. Let's have a big thing. But anyway, um, what's going on with the garage? Is that going on? Yes. Um I don't think so. The company that I'm working with is actually the builder of my house. And I think they're just not doing shit until after the new year. So I've tr I've tried to like put some pressure on them. And they're like, oh yeah, we'll come start. And like nothing happened. So like they haven't even taken my money yet. But I am actively trying to get the garage built in the backyard because so far we have not found like basically in, in, until I send them money, I will still look for commercial properties. <laughs> But, yeah. but it's it's a long shot. It's just it's not going to happen, unfortunately. Did you ever so. call that place I sent you? No, I I, I kind of looked into it and it just 
it's gonna be too much. I, the problem is, I don't think we can um, license our business there. Oh, that's how they want to do it. Yeah, because it's Fair. it's like <sighs> that's the that's the hard part, right? Like we have to not only have the place for the cars, but also to be able to use the. <laughs> you have to be able to be licensed. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Adventure <makes sense>. dives. <laughs> Green trailer parks and eating at Waffle House. I would go, Lotus. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, that actually would be kind of fun. You when just, we do you the thousand dollar car challenge, that'll be that's it right there. That yes. would be amazing. <laughs> yes, right there. Waffle House tour only if you drive thousand dollar cars. Yep. You're. Mm, and you, yeah. you have to get bed bugs and then have a mass clothes <laughs> burning. Yeah, the last day is everyone getting hosed down. Yeah. <laughs> and all of our clothes get. Just, just burn. <laughs> oh, oh my lord! Did I ever tell you my bed bug story? No. Mm. I don't know if I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you know, Meg for years has worked um, as a social worker in the community, and for a while there, there was a huge bed bug, bed bed bug resurgence, right? And so. A, a substantial number of her clients had bed bugs in oh, their homes. No. And so the, when it first kind of started having this resurgence, no one really knew how to deal with it. But anyway, so she comes home from work and she's like, man, I was in this house. It had tons of bed bugs. It was disgusting, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, can't they like travel on anything fabric? And she's like, yeah. And, her backpack sitting there in the house oh. and we literally see bed bugs scurrying away. Oh from that. no. And I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. We got bed bugs in the house. So we killed the few that we saw, but the mental thing of having bed bugs in your house, like drove Meg nuts. And so she's like checking the bed and every piece of furniture every single day every single night just constantly like oh my god i'm gonna you know like so finally so here's the weird thing about bed bugs in the modern era they've adapted to most chemical treatment and they're immune to it you can't just like spray them and they die the only 100 percent way to kill them is with heat and they don't die until like 125 degrees or something like that nice so it's basically like the nuclear option literally and so we did that they we had this company come out to our house and they bring in these big ass heaters in the middle of the summer when it's like 100 degrees out in texas and they bake your entire house to like 140 degrees oh my god and they did that to our house to kill anything so basically any living critter in the house was dead after that. But it was extremely expensive. I bet. Holy shit. How much was it? It was many thousands of dollars. <laughs> but we got to sleep at night. Yeah, we got that peace of mind back. <laughs> so there you go. Oh man. Yeah. That's How big are, is a bed bug? I've never seen They're them. They're very small. They're very small. Oh. Like slightly larger than an ant, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the problem is they're just, they're like really tough to find. And yeah. But the funny thing is we never actually saw any on our bed, but it was just the, the paranoia, right? That we knew they were in our house. Funny enough, after that whole thing, her company issued a policy <laughs> and distributed plastic chairs to everyone mm -hmm. who went to clients' houses so that they could bring their own chair and sit in their own plastic chair because the bed bugs can't crawl on the plastic chair. So it was like part of their like normal work thing is like, oh, when you go into a client's house now, you bring a plastic chair. That's funny. Yeah, how many people are <laughs> like that? Seriously, like, yeah. how many people tonight are gonna be laying in bed going, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Yeah, 
this was a long time ago. I think this was like, I don't know, 12 years ago. It was quite a while ago, but yeah. <laughs> My balls are itching. <laughs> That's unrelated. That's yeah. that's actually yeah. a different... you have other issues you need to get looked at. <laughs> that's called crabs. It's a different problem. <laughs> okay. I don't know if heat kills them, it probably does. But I don't think you want to bake your balls. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes, car info. What what, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're we're we have uh, four wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got what do we have right now? We've got the 570, we've got the 620, we've got the 458, the 599, the 575, the Mustang, a Tesla. That's new. Is that it? Yeah. 620 huh. or 720? We got the 720. Okay, you said 620. Did I? Oh, yeah. my bad. I was like, oh shit, did you get a racing car? But <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I want one of those. Hell yeah. Ew. Now we know why Adam shaved his uh, mustache. Like, that's gross. Crotch crickets. Gross. So the the oops, here it is. Uh the 570 battery just croaked while uh authentic details were working, right? <laughs> they probably left the door open or something. They you know who knows but it it seems to be working again hmm. um what's my opinion of the monza sp3 you're talking about the the, the, the daytona right the sp3 was the daytona i thought and i don't think it was called the monza was it i don't think so i thought the monza was the sp2 i think that's, you're right that's what i've always heard as SP2 is the Monza. yeah, it's a Daytona but, SP3. Yeah, the Daytona the Monza was the one. Oh, the Monza is the one. What's I think the SP2? So. Uh, SP2 was something SP2 Monza SP2. Okay, yeah, he corrected. What? He said, Yes, the Daytona. Okay, the, I think it's cool as shit. I love that they took basically a La Ferrari made it look kind of retro and got rid of the hybrid system. I honestly would rather have that than a La Ferrari because I think the, the hybrid system on a La Ferrari is going to become an <laughs> issue maintaining it in the future because the batteries are going to die at some point and that's going to be extremely expensive. The SP3 has no hybrid system, but still got the glorious V12 and everything else badass about the La Ferrari just in a different looking package, which I actually think, honestly, I think the La Ferrari is almost a little bit like over the top and in, in the styling cues. And I think the SB3 looks more like a Ferrari. It's still a little bit over the top. Yeah, but, that's fair. But yeah, Jocko tried to get one. <laughs> they were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jocko, you got to buy like 20 more Ferraris before yeah. You, you need all the SUVs first. Uh, yeah. I think Hugh asked if they make any gravities for McLarens, and you can put one in, but you still have to tell the computer it's not the factory battery. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. my that's, understanding. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Um, we should experiment with that, but I don't, I don't want to do it in my car. Daniel, go to Authentic Details for tint. They do window tint, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you tell them the product you want. Get the get the serious ceramic coat yeah. or the ceramic tint or whatever. Yeah, and actually they'll... get your uh, windshield get your windshield done too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and mention the channel, mention normal guy, and they hook you up. Yep, ten percent off. <laughs> That's right. Hooking you motherfuckers up. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen with all the SF nineties when they start having issues with the hybrid system? <laughs> Good question. Good question. <laughs> There'll probably be somebody that figures out a way to bypass the hybrid system somehow. Ooh. That would suck because it would yeah. really kill the performance. Yeah, would, and probably yeah. more like the Priuses, where someone figures out how to rebuild the cells for cheap. That's my guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, the like... SF ninety's got a lithium battery, so it'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see how they do that. And I don't know what the how they put it together or anything. Yeah. 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 <sighs> yes. Drink. Why the problem? 
some other thing or with the uh, SF90 and other hybrid Ferraris is, you know, Ferraris don't get driven a lot and having yeah. those batteries sit there is the worst thing for them. Yep. That so, reminds me. I wonder if I need to do something about my lawnmower. <laughs> you should probably charge it. Leave it plugged in. Maybe I should plug it in. Whoa. Hugh. Oh, damn. Jeez. Okay. Nice. Oh, Merry Christmas, Hugh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Buy a nice scotch or bourbon. You can all share. Thanks for all your merry, your content. Merry Christmas and all. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah, thanks, man. Actually, honestly, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Although, I don't drink scotch or bourbon, but I Josh do. does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sign me up. Yeah, you guys. Actually, that would be kind of fun. We should have a live where we're actually all together one of these days. and actually Yeah, we need to do that. Together. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be fun. We can get Franklin's. I, I also thought yeah. should, should we, so we could like, get Franklin's for dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, that'd be fun. We should do that. <laughs> People are, $69.99 isn't a nice bottle of scotch and goose money. <laughs> <laughs> it's nicer than any bottle of scotch I have in my house right now, which yeah. is no bottles of scotch. So there you go. Yes. I do have uh oh whoop, whoop, another one hold on Ooh, what is yeah this? they're popping in tonight here we go dan buy the best box to <laughs> <laughs> tour de franzia all around <laughs> <laughs> uh, i love it absolutely oh. love it that is hilarious i i will i will gladly buy a bottle or a box of wine sorry <laughs> We, we used to not. do the Carlo Rossi that came in the gallon glass jug. Do you guys ever gallon. remember that? Yep. <laughs> and you'd add more fruit a, to it. Yeah. It had a little it had a little hook on it, like so it looked kind of fancy, but you could hook that and hold it over your arm like this and chug it. Takes <laughs> me back to college. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I like oh, this man. comment too. My my opinion is hell yes. <laughs> Yep, I, agree. I think you know what you get the Hawaiian pizza. It's great. It is. I like jalapenos and pineapple on my pizza. Oh yes, the the yeah. jalapeno S- spicy with the uh, sweet. hot and spicy. Oh man, it's yeah, yeah, yep. especially from Papa John's. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm. I don't understand it. the uh, Sinatra reference, Oki, but sorry, Sinatra reference. Oh. Ask me if I had luck finding Sinatra. You don't find it. No, oh, okay. shit. Here it comes, yawning. This is what happens during the holidays. It's time to drink more. Okay. <laughs> hmm. There you go. Ferrari Has anyone had wine. a Ferrari branded wine that was any good? Mm. Um, Actually, there was, it wasn't... What was that wine we had? So, we had this wine that was... Uh, pretty good. It was actually at um, John Weinberger's funeral. Sorry. Kind of a weird setting to have wine, but I think it was called like Shift or something like that. I can't remember, but it was really good. Hmm. Shoot. Can't remember what it was called. Anyway. Oh, well, whatever. Um,. What kind of wine, Dan? This is just the one of the defaults. This is um, Antonori Villa Toscana. That's what I'm drinking tonight. Yes. So car guys are usually into the watches as well. Any input on the watch market? If so, no. Don't give a shit about the I actually keep a pretty watch. close eye on the watch market, and it's come down a lot, just like cars. There you go. No, it's like come down like <laughs> an order of magnitude more than cars. Yeah, percentage-wise, it has. Hmm. Yeah, because they're worthless. <laughs> it's a stupid. So I think you've triggered it's fashion, Dan. No, it is yeah. a fashion piece. How do you really feel, I, Dan? I'm sorry. You can say it's fashion and all you want, but if you go buy a, a high-quality Rolex or something like that, it's as good as gold sitting in your safe. No, it's not. It's a pile no. of shit. It's. A, <laughs> I hate watches. I think there's such a waste of money. Such a waste. It like doesn't, I don't like to me. Okay. Maybe that's just my brain. I cannot fathom spending anything over like a hundred bucks for a watch. 
I'm sorry. It's it's it, it tells time. Okay. That tells time. Look at that. It's eight. Yeah, I don't. But you got to understand that it's not just a watch. It's something that has holds value and that's sellable, and you can no. turn it into money at any time you want. No. It's an I, asset. Buy a brick of gold. That can, can turn that into too. money. That's a better investment. Yeah. Way better investment. No. Ah, uh, that that's the Sinatra reference. Okay. Yeah, I have not found it yet. What? John. No, he texted uh, me directly. Yeah, Jeff and I were going to trade uh, liquor, and I uh, he asked for a bottle of Sinatra. Yeah, no, I haven't no, found it yet. A watch is not a piece of art; it is a piece of engineering. It can be both. I mean, just a car is both. A car is engineering and art. A car also has a functional purpose that is not redundant in modern society with a <laughs> phone. I'm just saying. It, I, I don't necessarily disagree with you. I'm not a watch person, but <laughs> watches are in modern society 100% like a luxury item. In luxury items, you're just thinking about it the wrong way, Dan. No, I'm thinking about logic. I like to I like to own things that I can turn into money at any time that I want. And but if you that can't, means I have, you can't with I have, a watch. You can. They just took a shit. You, the market for watches. Well, if you right now they can't. You have to buy the yeah. right watches. But they, oh, I'm pretty sure most watches <laughs> took a huge hit lately, right? No, uh, but so is crypto. So has stocks and bonds. Great and crypto. Fu- crypto is. Oh God, don't get me started. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I'm Put just up Ricky's saying, super chat. <laughs> houses. Look at yeah. the house. They've come down in value too. Everything. So has. Someone calculator watch. <laughs> <laughs> this ti-83 uh, i still dude i still have my 83 somewhere nice. around i don't know where it is but i have it still mm. I, I always still preferred the 85 i'll have you know. Ooh, fancy i had an 86 85. and i have this 84 i used in college oh shit <laughs> it's, it's oh, right there. It. damn it that's mine it's somewhere around here oh, i keep well. it right there i still use it oh, that's <laughs> funny they're amazing although i forgot like my original you... my original 86 though i lost i don't know what happened to it uh-huh. lost it i'll have you know i i used to actually program that shit and write like games and stuff because you could yep. actually write code did on. did you them. ever i hate to admit to this but did you ever put like cheat answers in your calculator oh of course because <laughs> <laughs> i did that yeah yeah yeah, you'd write like you'd a have little, to type like, a password to open the file. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Yeah. You open a pa- oh, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh oh lord. All right. Here we go. BTC Moon guy. Bitcoin will be back. Oh, I God. hope so. <laughs> yeah. No. I. Oh God. I can't even. I don't even want to go there because I'm just going to really actually piss off people if I start talking about <laughs> that stuff. Well, now you guys know how to trigger Dan. Yeah. Crypto is, is look, as Let's a... talk about the as, blockchain. <laughs> as someone who was in the software industry and understands how blockchain works and all that stuff and whatever, the more you know about it, the more you're like, oh, this is a scam. Oh, That's, I'm on. sorry. It is. It's a scam. It is a scam. Someone created something that's only in the ethers as electronic shit. And it has value? Like, if the computers all die, the value's gone. Yeah, uh, they got more, more to worry about if all the computers die. <laughs> that too i would rather be holding a brick of gold than holding electrons well you have to diversify you have to have some of both sure i I would rather have like a car or a brick of gold or shotguns for example than cryptocurrency again again it's like have guns have gold have crypto have (laughs) stock you gotta have a little of everything or you can just skip the crypto part because it has no real value you can you can if you want yeah that's what i'm doing (laughs) I will not put my money. I have never put a single dollar in it, and I never will. I think it's absolute insanity. And every time they, every time the crypto market goes crazy and then dies, and all these people lose their houses or whatever, I'm just like, you're a dumbass. Yep. Like you sink your entire life savings into a scam. Well, 
Those are just stupid decisions that happens with any kind of collectible, even cars, yeah. uh, stocks. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose your ass no matter what it is. Oh, why is he texting me? <laughs> Sorry. Once in a while, someone texts me during this. That's Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Carrie. Oh, no. Carrie. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Carrie wins the night. Yep. Woo. Look at that bastard. All right. That was, that was pretty good. Good job, Carrie. I'm glad I answered that text message right now. <laughs> anyway. Mm. <laughs> Why are people still texting me? Damn you. Oh, you well, okay. <laughs> Jocko, I don't know if Jocko went away, but this is <clears throat> Jocko's view right now Oop. oh nice oh geez there, hold <laughs> on. that looks that looks miserable yeah so looks like you're suffering jacko <laughs> yeah i'm i'm not a fan no thanks i think the that. chat gpt stuff is pretty cool anthony but it's it's a scary uh insight into the future that's for sure what is have you played with the chat gpt ai no that sounds uh, interesting. Yeah, Google it, make an account. It's nuts. Like, it's probably scanned enough of your videos. You could say, hey, write me a story in in this oh. tone of normal guy supercar about the SF90, and it would write a script for a video for you. So my, my buddy is super into, like, all the AI and whatever shit that's going on, and he was on the phone with me, and actually it was Travis, and... I was like, well, what can it, like, you know, what can it do, blah, blah. And he's like, dude, it can write you a script for one of your videos. And I'm like, what? Yep. And, I'm, and I'm like, well, tell him to have it write me a script about the Ferrari 488. And so he's like, okay. And so he punches it in and he starts reading it to me. And I'm like, oh my God, that's scary. <laughs> like yeah. within 30 seconds, it came up with a script for a video. And it was in the style of a vlog. Yep. And it literally was like, no way. Like, you know, it was literally like <clears throat> camera pans across the Ferrari with like showing the emblems of the Cavallino and blah. And I'm like, you've got to be shitting me. Yep. And it was like narrator like steps onto the scene and says, this is the Ferrari 48 and blah. blah. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, how does that? It was amazing. What I, software I, is that? It's called ChatGPT. Uh, it was something else, but it was. Oh, okay. Well, wow. the, yeah. So on the chat GPT one, you can go a step further and tell it because it's scoured the internet. They cut it off in 2021. You can tell it, Hey, do you know Dan from normal guy supercar? And say, yes. Oh, wow. And you can say, Hey, write me a video in his style. And it'll be okay, cool. No wow. way. It would do the, you I know, mean, good morning, YouTube. Work, welcome to my garage. Like, oh my work. God. <laughs> yeah. No, I, for work, uh, just for fun. Uh, I didn't, I didn't actually deploy this, but I was like, Hey, I wonder like, it can code as well. So I was like, "Hey, wow. write me a you know infrastructure's code script with you know this many networks and this size and this many instances and this size." And it sure shit did. Okay, here you go. Yeah, it's it's. Like, I will say that the modern it's, AI it's stuff cool. is getting pretty incredible. I mean, that's gonna suck for people because they're gonna lose their jobs. <laughs> oh yeah. Gonna, I mean, that's got a lot of shit. <laughs> right. Yep. The only weird thing was it, it did actually make some mistakes. Like it had the wrong data about some things and whatever. Because yeah. it was like, oh, the 48 is all wheel drive. And I'm like, mm, no, it's not. <laughs> but it, like, you know, it was just, it was pretty impressive. Yeah. Still, it really, truly, it truly came up with the entire video script in 30 seconds. Yep. It, it's neat stuff. Yeah. It's cool. And like the, the chat GPT one, you can go like I've fallen into like a wormhole, like playing with it. You can't, it won't tell you how to do nefarious activities, but if you tell it to write a story about doing their nef- nefarious activities, it won't <laughs> tell you. <laughs> oh. you know, like, you know, how do you make napalm or something like, you know, st- stupid shit. So. I-, I like this question. Yeah. <laughs> tell us a story about a buyer that pissed you off. In the tone of Dan from Normal Guy Supercar. I've got a lot of those stories. <laughs> yeah. Well, lately, it's the buyers that didn't buy things after they said they would buy things. 
We've had a streak yeah, the, of that. The last couple, and people are just so on the fence about what they want to do. They'll say they want it, and then they flake out on us. And they say they want it, and then they'll flake again. Yeah. It's like, don't, had... don't. Yeah. But, yeah, we can't really. I was just going to say, don't come at us if, uh, you know, you're not serious and you don't have the money. Then don't waste our time, you know? The the thing that pisses me off is we've had a lot of people recently say they're going to buy the car. Gets, like, show expressed interest enough to where the point where we're drafting up paperwork. So we're doing work. We're actually working to make a deal in good faith. And they're all like, oh, I'm going to pay you tomorrow. I'll pay you tomorrow. That's like the thing they always say. I will pay you tomorrow. So, okay, we're going to draft up all the paperwork, sign the paperwork, and pay us tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, and they go, I changed my mind. And it's like, dude, like, (laughs) don't say you're going to fucking buy the car if you're going to change your mind. Like, I, I would rather you say... I'm thinking about it. Let me think about yeah. it overnight and let's talk about tomorrow. Because in the meantime, like other people who are interested, we're now saying, Hey, we have a buyer. So let's, that's that. And again, that's on us. Like that's my fault because I guess I I'm too honest, right? Like I'm, I have to learn to be more jaded. I need to get, I need to get saltier <laughs> when it comes to this industry because every time someone's like, I'm going to buy the car. I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll make sure that I'm kind of telling other people it's already kind of got a buyer or whatever. And so then no one wants the car because oh, it's already got a buyer. And, and then, then they don't come through. So we lost all those sales with all these other people and you come back to them after this person tells you they don't want it. And they're like, Oh, well I already moved on. I already bought another car or whatever. And so it's like, yeah, it's like some of a bitch just, yeah. Stay honest. Just get jaded. Like I'm, I'm fine <laughs> if you don't know for sure if you don't want to buy the car yet. Just yeah. tell us that. Say I need to think about it. Okay, fine. But if you are serious enough about the car that you don't want us to sell it to someone else, give us a deposit. Mm-hmm. And if you're not serious enough about it, then don't give us a deposit, and we're gonna keep trying to sell it. But don't be a dick and tie up our car. Like we're too small. We only have a few cars. You guys heard. How many cars we have when you tie up our car that literally costs us money like we've we've probably lost over ten thousand dollars because of this exact scenario in the last month and a half so yeah okay I, i'm gonna address this briefly and once because it's been brought up multiple times um so i'm just gonna say uh Adam is no, no longer with normal guy and I'm, I'm not going to go into the details and we're not going to talk about it. So, um, it's a business decision, so I'm not going to go into it and we're not going to talk about it. So there you go. Done. There. Yeah, Jocko, Jocko just texted me that his SF90 is in Detroit. So that's pretty cool. It is. He called me nice. earlier. He said, he said it is. And so we need to, we need to get that down to Austin. Yes. <laughs> it's coming down wait. right away, isn't it? He sent it down to Brad. Brad's going to do the whole thing on it. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait. I'm excited about that. Wait, Jocko's texting. He's not on the chat. Tra- on the chat. Yeah, he left the chat, but he's he got too drunk. I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he texted me earlier. He's like, "I'm pretty hammered." <laughs> I was like, "Well, join us in the chat, Jocko. We love having you in the chat." Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> convince him to call in from his phone one of these nights like uh, with video that'd be fun right i uh, yes I, I would love to have jocko on he's the there live. there he is oh he's still here oh yeah okay jocko when okay. are you taking delivery of the car jocko fell down in the snow <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, man. <laughs> that'd be awesome <laughs> poor jocko 
buyer i'll take it pay you tomorrow buyer's wife i don't care what you told him last night call him and tell him you've changed your mind buyer i have money but gotta go another direction yeah, yeah basically or or i don't like the color or i don't like the color of the brake calipers or i don't yeah. like the brand of tire that's on it. yeah we, we had we've had like weird excuses of why people didn't suddenly want the car it's pretty obvious too when they're lying yeah a lot, of, well, a lot of times you'll have a reason you're like well oh, yeah, yeah it's, right. it's usually <laughs> obvious because like it, like to me if i was buying a car i'm super excited like i'm so excited i'm like i can't wait like if we're if, we, if i say i want to buy a car tomorrow i'm calling them the moment they open and being like take my money i want that car <laughs> right and every time it's happened they're like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna send you a wire first thing in the morning and then the next morning comes around and it's crickets. And then like 2 p.m. rolls around. Crickets. So we call them. Hey, just wanted to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about that. Uh, I changed my mind. We're like, really? Really? Yesterday, you were excited. You were like, <laughs> I want that car. And today, you're not. Were you drunk? Were you drunk? Okay, I get it. You were drunk. His crypto that's, crashed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Probably drunk. That's okay. So, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, Travis. I like that. Let me overpay you for the car, and then you wire the money back to me. <laughs> <laughs> we have had, actually, people say that. Can I pay you more than the car? And we're like, no. You're clearly a scam. No one ever on earth has ever... One no, that, that's not true. I've had a few times in the but, past where they wanted to overpay because their loan amount that they could get was more than the car was selling for. And they wanted to put that money in their pocket or use it to modify the car or whatever. So I'd okay. write it up higher and then give them the difference. Mm. But then they want you to actually make the car on paper be higher. They have to. They have yeah, to. Yeah. And they have to pay sales tax on that too, which I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> but yeah. yeah there's better ways to get that money but okay yeah yeah right well people are, you know, people are kind of, dumb sometimes back then the interest rates are low enough that maybe yeah. it was not a bad idea true i don't know now the interest rates suck ass by the way anyone know how to get a million dollar loan on a low interest rate <laughs> <laughs> from my buddy fred <laughs> <laughs> From wherever, <laughs> Fred's Preferably gonna want that. Want that? Cheese, someone that, that won't interest. break our knees if we yeah. default. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! Oh, shit. I'm debating. It's like, so Meg asked me to keep it to an hour. We're at an hour and five minutes. Mm. Do I get more wine, or do we wrap it up? Happy wife, happy life. That's a tough call. <laughs> Hmm. We have a line of credit, but it, the interest rate follows the prime rate, so it's super high right now. Fair. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just made six million to someone for a good rate. Really? Give them five million in collateral. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> the bank of carry. I don't know yeah. if there's a bank of carry. Carry's mm. a Carry's pretty, pretty savvy. He's not gonna give us a deal. Yeah, he's smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right i seem to see a lot of more wines so maybe i need to get one more glass of wine do it okay make it so hope meg's not watching otherwise i am in <laughs> shit she's gonna kill me don't watch this meg we'll see how that goes that was my secret plan there you go it always goes over so well <laughs> Six and a half for five hundred. That's that's not bad for today's rate. No, that's really good actually. Yeah. Damn. Is that a line of credit or something? Yeah, that's what uh, Oki said. Yeah. Pull the now that and I, run with the money. No, <laughs> yeah. Now that I realize who Oki is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he mentioned that the uh, he wanted the poster from Jocko. Jocko Jocko promised yeah. him a picture of the SF ninety. Yep. And the pista, right? Yep. Next to each other. 
I don't know. I hope not, Travis. We're going to find out soon. Yeah. It, look on their site. There's there's like, well, the well, last time I looked, there was like 12 megawatts of, or 1,200 megawatts of uh, power ready to go. So oh, hopefully so Texas doesn't. Ready for it. Yeah, they're all ready, supposedly. So I was uh, walking back from getting the wine, and Mo is just like totally zonked out on the couch. I was like, oh, <laughs> poor little Mo. He's got a friend that use all his energy. <laughs> yeah, well, Otis is here. Josh, yeah. cost to get a Montana LLC to buy a car. Oh. Um, so just to set it up is cheap. It's like a hundred bucks or something, but there's a bunch of rules that go along with it. One of them is, um, if the car stickered for more than 150, I think there's an $850 luxury tax that you have to pay. Mm-hmm. And then you, um, you have to pay $800 a year. If your car's worth more than 150,000 and it's less than 10 years old every year until it's 10 years old. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I think they charge another 800 or something to register it. So uh, we just did one for a guy and it was like 1600 bucks for a 488 in Montana. So still way cheaper than tax, way yep. cheaper than paying what that would have been like 20 grand in taxes and stuff, Oof. you know, so it's yeah. definitely worth doing. Hmm. Josh, do you like working on the 570S McLaren or the 360 better? I mean, I know the 360 a lot better. I could take that apart with my eyes closed, so I'd probably prefer to work on that. But the 570 is easy to work on, too. <laughs> it's a song. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to ignore our wives today. Very, very true. <laughs> oh, my God. That that comment wins the night. <laughs> Oh man! Oh lord, that's awesome. That was great. Uh, Did you alloy how... in a three hundred and sixty? Yeah. It's... Is that the silver? Yeah. Yeah. No one likes Not... Grigio colors. They we well we had a four hundred and thirty. We, had we a couldn't give time. away. Yeah, yeah we, we had a hell of a time selling those cars. Mm. Did you sell that fry exhaust <laughs> you had left over from the sale of the car? Um, I'm not sure which one we have the cat deletes from the four or five, eight. So if someone need, if someone's got a four or eight and they want cat deletes, we've got them. And I'll sell I them to you. you for like, huh? I think, I think he's talking about the 48 exhaust that you ordered. Oh, we still have that. We haven't sold yes. that. Someone wants it. Cool. We can hook you up. It's pretty. I can give you a preview. It's glorious. <laughs> ah, ah. It'll look something like this. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, Travis, you need to come down here. You, dude, we've got adult bunk beds. We have a queen over queen bunk bed. Seriously, you're welcome to stay anytime. The value of the high mileage 12 C's has come down quite a bit. You can yeah. buy one in the 80s, 70s, 80s I've seen them for. For high mile ones. Oh, here's a great question. Oops, oops, missed it. There it is. What Christmas gifts did you all ask for? I know Tyler is already. I actually did not ask, didn't for, ask anything. for anything. <laughs> and and I don't think I got anything. <laughs> yeah. I think this year all of our Christmas presents were just presents for Ash. Yeah. It's That's what like happens that. when you have kids. Yeah, we have a kid now. We're so at, it's like oh. we're not real big on giving each other like extravagant gifts or anything like that either. Yeah. yeah. I did give Meg a birthday present only because she asked for it after like it was it was like I'm gonna say eight PM yesterday. And oh I gotta sneeze. Oh no. Hold on. It's coming. Okay, it's gone away. <laughs> um she was like, Hey, I want to watch that HBO uh, Game of Thrones extra series, the dragons, whatever, House of Dragon or whatever. And so she's like, can you just buy me HBO for a year? And I'm like, <laughs> fine, whatever. It's like <laughs> so I like it. that was that was her present. She's like, I want HBO. <laughs> it's a good present. Eh, whatever. I mean fine we got hbo now yeah 
You thermo pens are great. You should get one. They're pretty what? cheap. Hugh Hugh wants a thermo pen. What thermo pen? pen? They're like the instant read thermometers. Oh oh yeah. For cooking. Yeah, they're those things oh, are awesome. Okay. <laughs> I noticed there aren't any three XL thick hoodies on the NGS store. It's that's blame our manufacturer. <laughs> that's not us. Sorry. I recommended watch the volcano on Netflix. It's the White Island volcano there. Oh, I actually saw oh, that. Cool. The one in New Zealand? That was crazy. Like, okay, I'm all for adventure, but like, I don't really feel like I need to be really close to a volcano that's constantly erupting. That doesn't, yeah. No, no, <laughs> I'm cool. Hmm. I can stay away from that. <laughs> just, just a little. Yeah, like I, I'm all for like stuff that's adventuring, but like. Why do you need to do stuff that's like you will probably die if these things happen? Like that doesn't sound like adventure anymore. It's just like okay, I'm gonna gamble with my life. <laughs> Sorry, blow my nose. Why are there people still driving down my street this late? <laughs> Old man yells at cars. Go <laughs> <Slow> down. <laughs> <laughs> Go out there and my freeze my nuts off. Hey, hey, slow down. Yeah. Damn kids. Damn kids driving so fast. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was within ten to twenty GT of the one thirty road closure. Lava flow in Hawaii. That heat was intense. Yeah. That. that no thanks. Mm-hmm. Oh, 20, ten to twenty feet. Yeah. No. No. I, I'm cool. Like I, I don't need to be that close. That's not, no. no, no interest. <laughs> hey, now, I am not working in a house and smashing up Lamborghini SVJs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he picked that guy. Picked the wrong car to hit. Like, to have a felony for nothing. Like that, dude. When I saw, okay, like let's all be real. You know, Damon was driving fast. Yeah, or or at least what in that happened? high gear, making I don't know a ton what you of guys fucking are talking noise. About. So yeah. DDE, Damon from DDE, um, filmed this video, and it's it's pretty interesting because he he legit got ganged up on. Yeah, like there was like three four guys threatening him, yelling at him. Why did he shit. do something dumb? Probably. Let's be real. He was probably driving fast. And, oh, okay. and so they like got, came into the middle of the street and stopped him. So none of that's on film, of course. But, you know, like, even if he was speeding, they had no right to stop him. They had no mm -hmm. right to do any of this shit. So that's, that's beyond that. So they start yelling at him, harassing him, whatever. He gets out of his car, which I, I think was dumb. But anyway, while he's out of the car... Another guy takes a sledgehammer and, and smashes the windshield of his SVJ. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's like easily a $5,000 windshield. Yeah. So that's a full on felony. Yep. Like you just committed felony. Like you're a dumbass. Like you are so. I mean, it's just, that's the same as keying someone's car or something. Yeah. 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 So dumb. You're not going to jail for it, but you're probably going to get a lawsuit. So the only thing, the only thing I will say to Damon's credit, he kept this chill. Oh, he's he super calm. chill. He super must go calm. through some Zen shit right there. But, I mean, he 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 knew how to play the game to like did. ride that scenario out and look like the good guy, right? Yeah. It's not he his did. first radio. <laughs> no, he's, like, he's he's so used to controversy that that was like, oh, I've got this right. But I, I have to say, it was like. The only thing I have a problem with is like, you know, he was fucking around. Like, come on, yeah. come on. You know, he was driving more than the speed limit. But again, that doesn't give anyone the right to stop a car, threaten the guy and smash his windshield. Like, that's just no, no. Dave had his cat stolen in the parking lot. That wasn't that wasn't Damon. Yeah. Like, I, I really respect Dave. I think Dave's funny i like dave actually 
So I chat I chat with Dave every once in a while on, on my phone. <laughs> I don't have I don't have Damon's number, but I have Dave's number. <laughs> there you go. So I send him a text once in a while. Oh, opinion on Carvana. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've been calling been calling out for years that Carvana was going to go in the dumpster fire. I've been seeing that forever. Finally happened. Uh, yep. Yeah, that was a business model that just wasn't going to work. They crushed when I was running my smaller car dealership. They crushed all all the little guys. They crushed us. They were buying everything we used to buy. We couldn't compete with them. They well, they just they were willing to pay whatever price, oh, right? Yeah, they paid so much over. Yeah, how do you, how do you make money outbidding everyone? Like that's not how you make money. That's why they're buried in their inventory. I think we. I was yeah. going to suggest we do a video about that, but I noticed if you go on Mannheim, which is the auction um, website that we use, Carvana has a ton of their retail inventory for sale. Starting price is lower than the average auction price. And a lot of them are selling for that. So it's, yeah, they're, it's a bloodbath at Carvana. Wow. They're going to get their asses kicked. Yep. Too bad they don't have a whole bunch of nice supercars we could scoop up. Yeah, they don't have any. No. Their stock is like three bucks a gal, three bucks a share or something now. I think it was like 360 today or something. And it was, uh, it was over 300 (laughs) at the peak of COVID. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. Down ninety eight percent. Oof, that's rough. I mean, I sold a, a car to them. The car I had to buy when the Defender was delayed from COVID. Yeah, you told me about that. The Jeep. Yeah, yeah the Wrangler, and I made nine thousand dollars off of it. So. You made nine grand on a Jeep. <laughs> yeah. What, what in, is the world in three coming? months? Yeah. In three months. Yeah. How? Carvana. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that 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 right there explains why they're in the shitter. Yep. Right. Yeah. Like, and, and the guy was telling me he's like they had, they shipped all their cars to Oklahoma for inspection and pictures, and then they had to redistribute them back out. So how how do you make money? Cost yeah. alone. Yeah. They invested a lot of money in. Um, they bought like transport trucks and stuff too. They did did it all in house. A lot of it. Oh my god. Yeah, and they own a lot of real estate, which they probably paid way too much for. Yeah. So, man, how did they come? Like, anytime a company just explodes on the scene like that, you're like, well, has- it started from the Garcia father and son that were billionaires, and he started Drive Time. I'm sure you've heard of them. Yeah. And so that's how they got. And then before that, they had something else, I think. So they got started in the business there so they had billions coming into this to get it yeah, started wow. and get it off the ground crazy and then they were yeah. venture capital funded right yeah as well yep it was a silicon valley play you know growth yeah. or you know play that they were going to go nuts and everybody got excited and dumped all their money into it vroom is the same way and there's a few others too shift yep. is another one vroom yeah I remember, yeah Wow. Hmm. <sighs> well, whatever. Yeah. Like, it's funny because it was a good idea, but they just, it was poor business execution, you know? Well, you know, it's, I have a really good friend of mine that was working for them very early on um, and worked for them up until recently. Um, and he, I was talking to him about it and like, why? why they did that like why did they jump in and they were he was telling me they they think it's all about volume right they'll pay whatever it takes for whatever cars and get as many as they possibly can and yes some of them are going to be bad and yes they're going to overpay but overall like the average is going to be they make money and they do that with volume so that's how he explained it to me but that works (laughs) to a point yeah and then COVID happens and then it doesn't work (laughs) Yeah, like your mathematical model that you set up doesn't apply anymore when you have extreme global events. Yeah, like any any business person who had a business plan pre COVID and kept their business plan the same after COVID is a fucking moron. 
Well, they're at, or they're out of business. <laughs> or they're gone. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or they've sailed yeah. that ship. <laughs> like, come on. Like, you, you can't look at what you said pre COVID and then think it still applies today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and then after COVID, current, well, I, I don't even know if it's after, but currently today, you can't look at the market and say, oh, yeah, yeah, everything's the same as it was a year ago. We should have the same business plan. No. <laughs> yeah, and shift gears and answer this. This is a good question. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Dan, do you advise people new to YouTube to not do it? So many card channels just destined to have it hard starting now. Why does everyone think they can appeal to YouTube viewers with no experience? It, it, dude, it's so competitive and extremely difficult. I would tell you, like, I, it's, I honestly joined or started doing youtube stuff too late to really catch the wave i think um the problem with youtube is everyone thinks it's gonna be easy like they're like oh i'm just gonna do a youtube channel i'm gonna do a youtube channel it is extraordinarily difficult to have a successful youtube channel and the odds are not in your favor it is you know it is extremely difficult you have to spend an extreme amount of time and uh energy on it to make it really really work so i'm not saying don't do it like i don't want to tell people don't do youtube but at the same time i'm just going to tell you it's not the panacea it used to be it is very very difficult and we're 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 dealing with that right now like we we're a i'm going to call moderately successful youtube channel like we haven't hit a hundred thousand yet and i've been doing this for over five years you know like that's that's hard that's multiple videos per week every single week for five years so i i saw a thing uh i saw so now i'm signed up for this uh one program i've done 1800 videos wow 1,800 videos that I've made so far. Hmm. More than so, that. So here's a piggyback on that. Is Was the 4K video worth it? You did that test. I'm going to continue to do it from now on. Okay. I don't know if it makes a difference, but <laughs> um, the additional effort uh, is not significant enough to, to, to like not do it. Cool. All right. So like the the new GoPros we have, we have we have some Hero Tens. They can record in 10K, no problem. My main camera, the Sony A9, can record in 10K. The only shit part is this can only do 10K at 30 frames a second. I yeah. wish you could do 60. 4K. At 4K. Yeah. Yeah. The the I said 10K, damn. Sorry. <laughs> 4K at 60 at 30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only other thing I've noticed is at low light, this has a hard time at 4K in low light, which sucks because yeah. a ton of working on cars is shit light. Let's be real. Like you're underneath the car, you're in, you're trying to jam a camera like up into the like bowels of a car, you know, and then God knows everyone's like, oh, your video is so dark, blah, blah. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get Swiss tracks to invent Swiss tracks with LEDs in them that shine up. That would there be badass. Go. Right? Free free idea, Swiss tracks. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad idea, man. I I, I yeah, underneath car lights. Yeah. The problem is you can't shoot it up because you're up, so it's gonna yeah. create shadows. Yep. And and, and you're just blinding yourself if you So aren't the weird thing the is with my bright lights i have on the ceiling which by the way they're bright as fuck they're, i hate when people they're are like super fucking bright i hate when people see my lights in a picture in a video and they're like those aren't bright i'm like you're an idiot the yeah. camera has to change all of its settings to compensate for the extremely high light that's why it doesn't look bright anyway um the hard part is using those lights if you're filming and your camera deviates from something and looks towards those lights, it instantly fucks all of the camera settings 
And so everything gets super dark and off and whatever. And it's like, ah, oh, damn it. So it's, it's actually very hard to film with those lights. But when you do film with them, it's so much better. Like it's just, yeah. So actually I've, I've thought about that. If um, I shouldn't say if, when they finally build the new garage in my backyard, I'm actually going to do a different style of lighting mm. and I'm going to do an experiment and it's a kind of a risk, but I think I know how I want to do the lights to make it so that it's great for filming. Nice. Cause like there's, it's weird. There's different lights that are great for filming. There's different lights that are good for detailing. There's good lights that are good for pictures and they're not the same. No, not at all. No, it's totally different. So, Hey, yeah. So, yeah, you know, the, the thing that sucks about YouTube recently is I feel like it only promotes the crazy big channels now. Like, I never <laughs> get any of the recommended, like, recommended videos from any of the small channels. Like, you, you intentionally have to seek them out. And obviously, we fall into that category. We're not a big channel. And that's the, com the competition that we have to deal with is we're competing against channels that have a million, two million, five million subscribers. Mm -hmm. And we don't even have a hundred thousand. And it's like, so yeah, YouTube doesn't rank us. It doesn't promote us to you guys, which is yeah, supremely uh, frustrating. I see some of these channels, not even car stuff, just other bigger channels post videos and they'll have 22,000 views and it's a 20 minute long video. And it says it was uploaded three minutes ago. I was like, how? Like, I know like, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Like I'm just, <sighs> I don't know oh, yeah. it, it sucks because I feel like a lot of really good content is just dying because the algorithms have like, and, and I hate to say it, but all of us as viewers were to blame. We're the reason why YouTube sucks because we click on the clickbait. We click on the bullshit videos that we know are going to be crap. Like, come on. You guys have seen thousands of clickbait videos. You've seen all the bullshit. You know it's coming. You know, you see that thumbnail and you go, this is going to be bullshit. But <laughs> I'm going to click it anyway because uh, they, maybe it's going to be cool. And then it's bullshit. And you're like, ah, oh, it was bullshit. Well, they it all comes me. down to two. YouTube is obviously exists because they want to make money. And they're going to point people to the videos right. that have the high paying advertisers you know yep it's it's all about making money yep so my channel keeps coming up on your facebook well how oh, that's cool <laughs> how i fucking you luya <laughs> <laughs> something's going right maybe we need to target facebook more <laughs> I, maybe that, so uh you you met him the auto vlog guy he he said yeah. he did that i this is around the time i stopped watching but he said he targeted facebook and was able to like triple his view count just on facebook I, dude i tried and facebook did not like my content they didn't they didn't they i didn't published play well. every single video i publish on youtube i publish on facebook yeah yeah i have i have not made one dollar on facebook yet in fact my channel is so shitty on facebook i can't even i'm not even monetized oh, shit. on facebook that's funny or Instagram for that matter. I, I can't make anything. The only place I can make any money is on YouTube. Hmm. It's crazy. It's it's so, I don't know. I mean, look, I, 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 I complain about it all the time and I say all this shit about it, but at the same time, like, uh, that's not our channel. Like, we're not, we're not a, like, the channel's not designed to be a super yeah. high click super high viewer channel it just isn't like we we generate real content and unfortunately like reality is boring <laughs> I hate, dan and i, I did wanna... talk though we're gonna we're gonna probably start buying some cars that aren't super cars and doing some videos on some random we, cool we, cars yeah we've been talking about that that's definitely like we've we've got some ideas we want to try some stuff in the new year so you're going to see some new stuff shit so bear with us 
that's part of this <laughs> vlogging thing. The vlogging yeah. thing is like, hey, let's let's try a vlog, right? Let's see how vlogging works and see if that's something you guys like. Because because interesting enough, Stradman, which is arguably one of the biggest automotive YouTubers on the planet, is a vlog. It is not a car channel. Yep. It is a lifestyle channel. It is a life channel about his life. It is not about cars. Cars are an addition to the content. They are not the primary focus of the content. Yeah. So, Especially with this whole house thing too. Like that clearly was right. a big deviation. So. Yeah. And, and tons of the, and that's one thing that like I'm seeing is I'm like, man, if I build a garage, is the garage content going to do better than the car content? Because people like that shit. It's relatable, right? Like yeah. lots of people build houses and garages and stuff like that. Not everyone has a Ferrari. Like more people built garages than have a Ferrari. Yep. This is true. So I don't know. And it kind of it kind of reminds me of like when I first did my um garage remodel at my old house. People love that content. They really did. So I just realized that we're way past nine thirty. Oh yeah. I went out fast. Time to go. Time to ring it up. It's almost time for Festivus. Festivus. <laughs> oh, is that like uh it's tomorrow, twenty third. Is it? Yeah. Festivus for the rest of us. I have an aluminum pole. I don't know where it is. I need to find it. So all right guys. That's it for tonight. <laughs> we'll be doing more cool. See you guys stuff. later. Love yes, it. we'll see you guys soon. Thanks see for joining us and have a have a have a happy holiday and uh drink a lot enjoy your family or whatever and we'll see you guys next week cheers bye